my name is The Vault here. Welcome back to more Summer and Mara. We're going to go ahead and just jump right back into the game. But first, huge shout out to the publisher who did give me a copy of this game so I could play it for you guys. I am so excited to be playing this. It is so cute and it is exactly what I need to be playing right now. So we're going to go ahead and jump back into it. I'll see you guys back in just a sec. Ladies and gents, so when I was going back through, and I apologize about this, when I was going back through and actually editing the video, I'm going to be honest. I <laughs> This is going to sound really stupid. I was playing the game so much that I wasn't editing the video very quickly. Uh, usually I try to edit the video right away uh, so I can kind of get an idea of if I needed to change anything. And I always do a test video. My original test video seemed fine. Um, I went back though and I was starting to cut videos this morning and I was just like, oh, okay, cool. I'm going to... You know, I'm going to go ahead and, and do some cutting this morning, and then I'll come back later. So I came back, and I realized that uh, while I was cutting it, it sounded like shit, because my voice is so quiet in the video, and I apologize about that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, apologize about that now. I don't... I, I mean, I can't go through and re-record everything. It just... It wouldn't be fair, so I apologize about uh, the beginning of this game sounding a little bit like uh, I'm underwater and uh, being taken over by the waves of the game. I think it's a little better in the actual gameplay, but like the openings are horrible and I apologize about that. I cut these videos and then I, w I went back and I was listening to them and I was like, wait a minute, that, that sounds really bad. So I feel pretty bad about that, but I hopefully have got it fixed now. I've done a couple test videos and so far they sound really good. In fact, I think I'm drowning out the game a little too much now, but I mean that's better than anything else. So one thing we need to do now is we need to give Anzo those pumpkins, if you don't remember what we were doing last. And we did find a male crab out in the sea, so I guess now I have to go out into the sea to find the male crabs. So it would be nice to be able to find those male crabs kind of quickly. That doggy's gonna follow me now. That's okay with me. I like to be friends with doggy. Alright, I'm gonna drop this stuff off. Um, I'm gonna sell it because I might as well. Now let's talk to Anzo. I see that you brought some pumpkins. They are huge. I imagine them to be about the size of a peach. In the future, if someone keeps on with my diary, I'll make them look for you. Oh, oh, I see. Writing down the big pumpkin. Ask Kawa the human adventurer about it. Wow. And so someday if someone reads your diary, they'll come looking for me? Something like that. And I'll be an old woman. I'm sure you'll be a great woman. Okay, so only one pumpkin. Nice, that means I can sell you the rest of my pumpkins. Oh, no, wait, what am I doing? Ah! Buttons. Buttons mean nothing to me right now. Whoa, do I have that much money? Am I balling? Dang. There's no time to waste. Okay, what else am I doing now? Alright, so I guess now... Okay, now we're back at Caleb. Sweet! So you finally go back to Caleb now. About time, Caleb. Give me that recipe. I need a hoe. Okay. Sup, Caleb? Uh. Hello. Wait a minute, what? Huh. Caleb? Caleb, you man bitch. I sorry. <laughs> that was not the reaction I should have had. Um, Caleb, dude, I need the hoe. What? Oh. Okay. Ask Caleb to help you improve your hoe, then bring Yaya Haku's flowers to Saimi. He said he was going to teach me how to upgrade my hoe. But I, I never saw him teach me how to upgrade my hoe. Could I have upgraded my hoe this whole time and I just didn't know about it? Alright, ladies and gents. I've come to the decision that I must already know the recipe for the hoe. And I'm just dumb. And, uh, I must have missed it. I, I must already know it. I mean, this doesn't make any sense. I, I don't remember learning it, but I must have? I, I'm so confused. Uh, there's only one male crab left, though, that we haven't gotten, and I'm assuming it's in open water since that other one was. So I'm going the one way that I, I don't think I have gone yet in open water to see if I can see a male crab. But I'll be honest, it's... Uh, I don't know. It might be completely useless. At some point, though, we need to head south and go home. That's where we got them squids. Hmm... Well, Shiza, I do not see another male crab. Hmm. 
I'm realizing right now that there's like a, uh, there's a blip in my screen. I think my screen might have something on it. And I keep thinking it's something in the distance in the water. I need to clean my screen off. Okay. Let's see. Well, I think it was... I know we saw one. I know we did. I wonder where it is. There wouldn't be one all the way out by our island, I wouldn't think. I mean, that would be pretty far away, but... I mean, I reckon we can always give it a try, but... Alright, for now, let's go ahead and just... Get out here, and... Maybe we already know the recipe, and I'm just an idiot, and this whole time... I could have been hoeing it up. I'm gonna feel really sad with myself, if that's true. Also, now that I know the pumpkins get a pretty good, uh... Got a pretty good penny out there, so... We're definitely gonna plant some more pumpkins. I'll water him in a second. I should probably do that off screen. I feel like I spent a lot of time doing stuff on screen. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. I knew it this whole time. <laughs> of course I knew it this whole time. It's a whole time. <laughs> whole time I have been uh, messing with Anzo and... I, I mean, I had to do the stuff for Anzo anyway, so it's fine. It's just... You need an even better hoe? Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Alright, well... I feel stupid, but at least we got it. Now we got more places that we could be... We could be, uh, planting stuff. Which, that's good. Let's, let's, let's plant more things. Man, do I feel stupid. Um... Yeah. I feel really dumb. Okay, so we've got it. We've got this. We can go ahead and actually start, uh... Doing some stuff. We can go ahead and plant some stuff. Which this will be good. I mean, it's good for us to plant some extra stuff. The sunflower's actually got a pretty good penny too from Anzo. I don't know why he doesn't think sunflowers are pretty though. I mean, I don't think they're pretty, but that's because I hate the color yellow. I know that's a weird thing. I I don't mean a lot of people who are like, yes, I just randomly hate this one color. But I, I don't like yellow for some reason. Corn is like the only thing I can stand that's yellow. And that's just because I like to eat corn. Hopefully this will actually cover all my fields now. Ooh, it might not. Oh, it didn't. Okay. So now that I've got so many more fields and she can't sprint with this, I guess we'll just spread it around. Might as well. Okay, so let's go hoeing around, digging up some flowers. I know there's some flowers over on uh, Qualys that we can pick up, and I apologize if that's not how you say that. That's how I would say it. I did notice that um, I think the game itself, ooh, the game itself doesn't really give you like any indication necessarily on how to say things which not that a game should but sometimes you know they kind of give you an indication of well it's you know this specific type of language or something like that but I couldn't tell you I have a tendency to revert everything into Spanish though <laughs> if it's not clearly English and I'm trying to resist that urge because I found that sometimes that's very much not true Okay, let's come up here. And these are where the flowers are. So we should be able to bring these back. Now that we got a hoe. Or a better hoe, I should say. We've always had a hoe. I feel kind of... I, I don't know if we should remember her when we come. But I feel like we should. Just like I also like to light the torch, and I also like to give an offering, because I feel like we should. Um, just because that feels mm. right to me. Oh, 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 I need to get more oranges. Oh, no! I mean, that's, that's things that Koa has mentioned, so I feel like I should do it. 
Also, now I get to go burn some trees down. Whee! Burn you down. Burn you down. Do you have any oranges? No? I'm gonna burn you down then. Okay, let's see. You can sell the ash. That's the reason I'm burning down the trees. If anybody's like, why are you burning down the trees? You can sell the ash and then you can always plant more trees. Plus, I'd like to plant more trees. I've got a pretty good, at least I think, a pretty good mix of trees right now. But I'm always trying to mix it up more. I think I need five to do an offering. Which I should probably be a little bit more careful. I think I've been selling my oranges too much and cutting down my orange trees maybe a little too fast. Oh, shit, I forgot. Those are timed. Okay. Darn it. I forgot about this. You have to pick up those in time. And I totally forgot about it. So I burned those down for no reason. Ugh, that's okay. I did this before. I was chopping the wood and I was trying to chop it all at once. Just so I could like get it over with. Because in my mind, like it's more efficient to just chop it all at once and then come back later, right? Doesn't work in this game. It times out. And I was, I was so upset because I couldn't come back later. Alright, so I wanted to plant this acorn because these are... These are just so pretty. All right. I gotta do better at not just planting things because they're pretty though. Orange trees. Sorry, orange trees. You're just not that pretty. My favorite is obviously gonna be the cherry tree, but that's because I love the color pink. I'm in love with the color pink. It is absolutely the greatest color in the world. Also, I apologize to anyone who does love yellow. It's not that I don't love you. It's just that yellow is gross and I don't know why people like it. I don't know. My mother never liked yellow either, though, so I feel like I'm I'm probably just raised. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What? No. I don't think I have anything to build more wells. Well, well, well. I need a bucket. Okay. I could build a bucket. I'm pretty sure. Let's grab this herb over here. Herb. Now that we can make tea with it. I could build another well. I really like putting trees down. I know that's probably lame, but I really like build- I like putting things down on here. Some, for some reason, I think, like, this part of this game is almost... I don't know, it's almost like a, a bonus that you actually get to do the fun stuff. Because there's something about it that's just really fun. <laughs> to just be like, yep, I'm just gonna go ahead and build things. I may not have enough now. Hmm, I may not have enough, um, wood now, is that something to think about. I wonder if I, oh, wrong one. Oh no, I still do. Okay. So if I'm going to build a well, I want to build it right here. Yes. Okay. We're going to go to bed. Alright, so when we wake up, we'll plant some extra trees and then get out of here. We'll return to Koalas. Because I think now that we've got the... Oh, we can build fences now. Okay. I would like to actually build some of the... Um, like the chicken coop and stuff. I'd really like to do that, but... Haven't been able to yet. Oh, we can have 39 plants. Nice. Okay. So it's fall where I am in the world as I'm recording this. Although today it did start snowing. And... I don't know. If you don't live in the Midwest, you don't understand how it can be 91 day snowing the next. But uh, it, it reminds me that we might have nice, like, October blizzards again. Which, I don't know. It's been a long time since we've had October blizzards. I, I don't know as though I'm against that, though. It's a pandemic right now. One more thing to keep me inside isn't quite a bad thing. It's just another excuse to stay inside. I don't actually mind that we're staying inside right now. I kind of almost feel like this whole pandemic thing came at a good time for me personally. I got a sewing machine last Christmas for myself. That was like my big gift to myself. Do, do people do that? I don't, I can't be the only person who buys myself like a Christmas gift sometimes, but it was like my big gift to myself and I've been learning how to sew and it's been nice to actually like be able to be at home sometimes. It wasn't nice getting COVID potentially twice, but you know, that happens. But I feel like, you know, doing stuff during the pandemic has been kind of interesting. I I'm curious, is anybody 
first of all, I don't know if anybody's even watching these videos. I know I'm having fun playing them, so that's why I'm still making them. But, uh, have you guys been doing anything to improve yourself? I, I said this over on Twitter the other day as a joke, but I really, I, I guess I, I meant it. A lot of people are, like, improving themselves during the pandemic. And, and I get it. Like, I get that people, you know, are like, sweet, I got all this time, I'm gonna improve myself. I have not improved myself in any way, I, I wouldn't say. Learning how to sew my dog pajamas has not improved my life in any way. Uh, well, I guess what, I can't say it hasn't improved my life in any way. It's improved my life in the way that my dog now has more cute pajamas. But I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think he would say it's improved his life much. I think he would probably say, Mom, I'm, I'm done. I don't need any more pajamas. My dog has so many clothes. If you've never tried this, if you have a small dog who gets really cold, like mine does, he needs to wear multiple things of clothes all the time. He, he needs a shirt and a sweatshirt half the time because he needs the shirt when we're inside. And then he needs a sweatshirt when he goes outside. If you can buy children's clothes, he's like a, a newborn or a zero to three months. He can kind of be between the two. You can buy those for them and then if you have a sewing machine you can cut out the panel depending on if you have a male or female dog and of course I have a male dog I have to uh, cut out a panel for for the peeing if you catch my drift because he's he's got some extra hardware down there so I have to cut out a little panel so we can we can free up that area and then I just sew it so he's got a little a little peeing area <laughs> And then people are like, oh, where do you get your dog clothes? And I'm like, I don't want to admit to you that I spend hours sewing these out of baby clothes I bought at Once Upon a Child. <laughs> I always go to the clearance where clearly no other parent is buying. Uh, no, nobody's buying those clothes. But they're like 25 cents. The end of the year, they always have these like major clearances. I'm always like, why, why aren't people buying these? They're adorable. But my guess is everybody already has them. There's usually like 10 of the same shirt, which I'm fine with. I will say if I ever have kids, I'm going to feel so bad for them because they're going to be like, Mom, why does the dog have more clothes than us? Then again, I think I just proved I'm probably not having kids. <laughs> Who the hell's going to want to have kids with me? Oh my god. Although I could learn how to make pajamas for my children. Okay, sorry. I'm getting excited. My grandma used to make us pajamas. That was so much fun. All right. I don't think we have an inventory limit, which is kind of great in this game. Okay. We probably should sleep, but I'm not going to because sleep is for the week. Apparently it's not. I, I've been hearing on the, on the YouTubes from these YouTube doctors that I need to sleep, but I don't know. Personally, I mean, if I get at least the, the six hours, I feel pretty good, but they say you should get the eight. I try. I really do. Usually my dog wakes me up. I love Fred. I love him so much. But sometimes, sometimes that dog wakes me up. Okay. So, what we could do before we actually go and return. Hmm. We could go look for a male crab again. I think wherever we park our boat doesn't really matter as long as we park the boat or anchor the boat, dock the boat, whatever. So theoretically, like I think I could go anywhere is what I've kind of realized before. If I remember right though, the male crab was kind of out and it was swimming a bit. But maybe if we do, like, one kind of close to shore check? Hmm. I wish I could remember exactly where the one we already found was. I remember we were looking for, like, just exploring for other things when we found it. Hmm. I bet you there's a guide online, so if you personally are probably playing the game and looking for it, there's probably a guide mm. online. Okay, I can give him a couple of these things. Uh, I don't know if I need the rope for mm. anything, so we're going to hold on to that. I've got a good amount of money. 
This is one of the, I, I know I talked about this before, but this is one of the problems with me and playing games is that I become so obsessed with the idea of collecting money that sometimes I forget I'm playing the game. Like, no, I must make the money. I think uh, I have some friends who would argue that I do that in real life too. And it's not even like I mean to, it's just, I get very, I get very uh, blindsided. Anybody want mushrooms? I still don't know why nobody wants mushrooms. Oh. I only want to sell things that people actually want. You don't want anything. Yeah, you're boring. I'm not actually exhausted. I just think I'm exhausted. Okay. What about you? Okay, some apples, but I'm going to keep selling them because I want to give them to the puppies. Oranges, and you'd like some coran. Some beetroot and some potatoes. Okay. I want to keep some of it because we know that we need to eat some of it right now. She's also hungry anyway, so that's gonna help us out. So we'll get stamina and we will get some foods. Alright, there we go. I think it's worth doing that rather than trying to actually sleep. I know that probably sounds a little silly, but I don't know, she seems to get exhausted way too fast. Plus, you can seem to find so much stuff out in the world. Okay. So we're going up to Sayemi's house. Sayemi's house. I'm not sure exactly how to say it. But we'll head up there, and I think I'm just going to try to hop up the mountain. There we go. Because I'll do all of the, like, breaking and stuff off camera. Real quick, I do want to dig this up while we're here. Okay, so it's like a yellow flower. Cool. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh yes, this is one of Haku's flowers. You see? I'm her granddaughter. I don't know if you really are her granddaughter, but you knew her for sure. What can I do for you, little one? Let's see. I've never left my island before. I want to explore all of Mara. Then you'll need a map. It's been a long time since I drew one, but I can try. Please, I want to explore every corner of the ocean. You have the same adventurous spirit as Haku. No, Yaya didn't let me travel. You were young and she took care of you. Mm -hmm. I'll need some paper and ink to make the map. I don't have enough here. There's an antiques expert over there in the Grand Marble Mansion. Maybe he could help us. I will talk to him. All right. So go to the Grand Mansion on the northern side of Koalas Island. Oh, wait a minute. Is he human? All right, let's see. We can sell her all the pretty things. She likes Yaya's flowers. No one wants my mushrooms. I wonder if I can sell things to him. Perhaps he wants mushrooms. It's that house, right? Yeah, that mansion. Like I said, I'll do all the breaking up and, and looting of all the loots later on, because I know there's things to loot around here. Ooh, now it's open for us. Hello! Ooh. I can't read it, can I? Is it just the same? Oh, it's the same statue. Okay. Hello! Hmm. Who's this? Hmm. It's me, Koa. I know no Koa. I am Aquila of elite nobility. Hmm. Who sent you? Saimi, the lady of the lighthouse. She needs some paper. Perfect. You've come to the right person. But everything comes with a price, little creature. Do you have enough money? Collect some coins to pay for the paper. Okay, I hmm. think I actually do have... Oh my lord! Oh my lord! 3,800? What? Um. Oh! Anzo. Hello! How's the diary going? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. According to my diary, the man in the mansion is a shady huh? fellow. Be careful. Yeah, sure. Thing is, I need paper and it's very expensive. I will help you. Really? Uh. Of course! 
I am your mentor, remember? A good adventurer should know how to make their own paper. Wow, and will you tell me how? You'll need to plant this tree and get its resin. Then you'll have to follow the recipe. It's been in my diary for years now. Does it say how to make ink? No. Oh boy. But I know who can help you with that. Who, who? Edigan, the banker. Oh, what a bore. I don't get along well with that fellow. <laughs> Understandable. But you'll be able to win him over for sure. Great. First, I'll make the paper. I'll get the ink afterwards. Oh, just pine nuts. Nice. And of course, I have been selling all of my resin. I did notice, though, that you have the dragonflies, which... Huh. The dragonflies are something I have considered being able to to buy because there is a place where you can overbuy the the guys on the dock. But um, I don't know. I'm gonna sell you my mushrooms though because no one wants them, and I don't feel like carrying them around anymore because I'm lame. So you're gonna take that. Anzo, there's no time to waste. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, can I sell you anything else while you're over here? No. Okay. Fabulous. The mansion men is a is a shady fellow. I like Anzo. Although I don't know why Anzo wants to help us. I suppose because we helped him, but maybe he is a shady fellow. Has anyone ever thought of that? Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and break up every rock. I'm gonna explore all the nooks and crannies and get all the stuff. Because as you know, I cannot stop looting. Looting is life. Life is looting. And I will go ahead and cut back when I'm done. And it's gonna be a while, so I'll see you back in a bit. What is the popo doing? Oh! <laughs> oh! Wait, the popo. These look like you. Kind of. Uh, Napopo, tell me what's going on. Does this have something to do with you? <laughs> Why have you nothing to tell me? <laughs> ah! Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching me play Summer and Mara. If you like this, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. If you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and click on one of those random things on the side of the screen there. That is one of my other videos. I have no idea what I put there. I do that all in post. But if you have not subscribed to the channel yet and you would like to, go ahead and click on that picture of my big dumb face. That will help you subscribe to the channel. You can also click on the bell icon if you would like to be notified every time I post a brand new video. Before we leave here, I will let you know that there may be a picture of my dog or a pee on the screen. That is a link to my Patreon. Please click that if you would like to go ahead and support us here over on Patreon. Us meaning me and my dog. Running a channel is expensive. I hate talking about this stuff, but I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.